Hi, welcome back to Cold Cathy. So we've got a nice brown cardboard box today. Okay, so in here we have the Mini 800 glider. Um, I'll just go through, I'll show you something. Let's get stuff out of the box and then I can show you. So this is an 800 mil glider. No stabilisation or anything, this is just your standard glider, you can put stabilisation I suppose in it if you want us to do, but let me just show you what you get in it. These cost around £40 and a really nice beginner glider. So there's the instructions, fantastic. My course on Chinese so I haven't gone so well, so I have no idea what that lot says. It's very simple build, so, so this is the fuselage, comes pre-installed with your servo for your elevator, this has no rudder. So, as you can see the wires are already installed in here and it's a simple matter of you could actually fit a camera in this one an FPV camera I don't know whether I'm going to FPV it I quite like the sound of it now I've thought about it but you then get this is your elevator it's not cut so you just need to cut the rest of this off and it's a simple matter of a quick gluing job if I can work out which way ah sorry so obviously this goes onto here like this and then we just glue that into there and then the wing has a little wooden dowel on there and it simply pushes into the slot in the wing and then there's a little carbon fibre tube that goes through there obviously make sure you don't get that out. These aren't cut either, so it's got the hinge, but they're not cut, so you just need to take a, a knife down the side, you can see there. It's been pre-moulded. And then obviously your stickers to go on. And then up at the top, you have your motor pod. So this is the motor pod for it. I could do a bit more glue in there. And it comes, I think it's the 30 amp PSC. It comes with a couple of props. This is a 2300, 2205, 2300 kV motor. And this just simply bolts on the back here and then you bring your wires down the inside to the cutout here and that's to keep the ESC cool but I might want to mount it inside and then to get fit your battery is a matter of just pulling that out and your battery just goes in the front here I'm probably going to fly this on a I don't know maybe a 1003S I haven't decided for definite yet but it's a 3S plane and as you can see it's got plywood bit on the back there to support and then the other thing you get is a bunch of stickers and in here you get your Y cable for your air lawns, your horns that's what the goes through and you put a rubber band through this to stop this pin falling out in mid-air but I don't think it would I pushed a pin in before and it feels quite tight some stickies and some linkages so what I intend to do is I'm going to take this away and build it, I'll let you know, I'm not going to build it on camera because it's boring as hell and I'll show you, I'll tell you how long it takes to build it so it's a matter of fitting your horns in here, cutting there fitting your linkages in and that's for your wing and then the same again, I'm going to fly this on the jumper I think I'm going to fly this on Spectrum, I think I've got an uh, 6200 no, with satellite that I think I'm going to put in here so the hook, I don't know what that's for, maybe there's another one with landing gear, this one doesn't come with a landing gear but it does feel quite tough, it's quite tough foam, it's not the best finished off foam in the world, this is very much designed to be, to learn to fly on and it's going to take a bit of a pounding, but as you can see it's got carbon fibre in here and also in there, which again is a nice touch, if you are building planes and you're always worried about this not being quite strong enough you can buy this stuff really cheap on ebay i think it's about three or four quid for a long length of it so you could put your own in here if you wanted to make it stronger i've done that on a plane that you'll see coming up just to make it stronger so let me take it away and build it i'll show you built and then more importantly let's see it flying so here it is all built apologies for the background noise it's my 3d printer going i just needed to print something quick so this is it built, I haven't put the stickers, well I did put the stickers on the wings but they fell straight off. So the speed controller has to stay here and it must be to keep it cool. So the wing, when you put, you'll see in a minute, it's a bit messy inside actually. So as you can see I've got, I've glued the tail on here. Very simple, it didn't take very long to build it at all. And then you use 
if you can look at these here, so this is what you use to attach the rod, so this brass bit goes through the servo horn there and then you put the screw in there to lock the rod in place, and it's the same uh, on the wings, as you can see for the air lines. and then this here holds the wing on, you put an elastic band around it, so I'll show you why it's a bit messy because everything stays together, so as you can see, let me get this to the camera level. I've got a Flysky IA6 receiver down there and I've brought the wires out the side and just taped them on there. So as you can see, everything stays together on there. Now I'm actually going to fly from a 2200 because it balances absolutely perfectly. With 1500 you've got to add a bit of weight so I'm just going to run with the 2200 in the nose there and connect it onto here. So every time you want to fly this, this is unfortunately you've got to take the wing off, but it's not too big a job because all, it, all you have to do is put that pin back through in the elastic band. So it just simply pushes back inside there, just make sure you've not trapped your wires anywhere. And then you just push it down, put this back through, and then you just put your elastic band around there, so not too bad. I was going to put a hatch in the front here for the battery and just hinge it with a bit of tape but I might end up doing that still so I don't have to mess around every time I want to do it but it's not too big a job and as I say with the 2200 it is perfect without that I was struggling to get it to stop being nose heavy so I'll just show you here it balances absolutely perfectly and that is a lot that is where the CAG is and as you can see perfect I bound it up to the jumper um, simple three channels so you've got your elevator your air alarms your elevator and your motor there is no rudder on this model so it's a bank and yank so i think the best thing we could do now is let's go fly it okay this is the bit where you expect to see the flight footage so let me just explain to you what happened so i went to fly this normally let me just start by saying normally when i do a review i fly or whatever it is or drive or do whatever first to make sure the product's good, then I do the review, product is good or bad, and then I can tell you. With this one, I decided, because the weather was rubbish, I did the first bit of the video, and then I decided to go fly it. I was just going to scrap this video, I'm not doing it, but I think I should put it up so you can see if something's worth buying or not. So I took it out, went to fly it, give it three quarters throttle, and it just nosedived very quickly. And that was with about hmm, half elevator. So I tried it again, give it three quarters elevator, three quarters throttle, still nose dived. This time, so this came off, probably my fault because I'd only put it on with hot glue. So I drove back home, hot glued it back on again with more hot glue this time, as you can see, it's a bit messy. Put it all back together, rechecked everything to make sure it was 100%, took off, did exactly the same thing, except this time it didn't take the nose off. So I thought, it needs 100% throttle. So I give it 100% throttle, and in my hand, the motor burnt out. So, it didn't have a lot of thrust, to be fair. But this, I've never flown this model before, and it didn't, but it didn't have a lot of thrust. Now, I will tell you that I have watched videos on this, but only two. One of the videos I watched, it looked to fly okay. And the second video I watched with Andrew Newtons. If you haven't checked his channel out, please do. He's amazing, just does um, fixed wing. But he had bought a kit version, which didn't come with a motor speed controller, etc. So he just bought the frame, if you like, and put his own electronics in it. I'm guessing this motor hasn't got enough power anyway, or very, or right on the borderline. I'm guessing I've got a, a dodgy motor. Because when it nosedived and it burnt out this thing, it was the state of the sticking now. So it tells me that the motor's gone. So, this is why you're not going to get any flight footage. I am probably going to take this motor off because this has got a 2202, 2300 and I've got something, I think I've got a 2208, 2200 that I can put in this. Um, but it's a shame, I quite like the build of the model, it looked like it was going to be a nice thing. So if you are interested in one of these, I would not buy the ready to the plug and fly version, plug and play version. I'd go for the kit version that Andrew Newton bought. Check out his video by all means to see how this thing should fly. But for me, it's a big no. I wouldn't, I couldn't recommend this to anybody as it is. So I think the kit's not bad. I actually think the build quality is all right. Everything seems good. Look, I just pile it into the floor a couple of times and it's fine. 
Um, so yeah, I'd probably recommend just buying the kit version, certainly not the one with electronics. Um, but to be fair, if you want to buy something, you can probably get something better than this for around the same kind of money anyway, to be honest with you. So I'd probably avoid it. Thanks ever so much for watching. Have a fantastic day. Thanks for watching my channel. If you like the video, please subscribe and hit the like button and also hit that notification bell. There's plenty more good stuff coming up.